what works best. Okay, so we're here at the Richard Driehaus Museum. This is the Nickerson Mansion in Chicago, which used to be called the Marble Palace, or what did people refer to it as? The original nickname of the home was the Marble Palace. The Marble because Palace. Of the 17 different kinds of, of marble that are used throughout the house. Mm -hmm. Later on, the house was nicknamed the Black Box because the exterior, which was made of sandstone, was actually an absorbent for all the pollution mm -hmm. from the factories that lined the Chicago River. So the house has had multiple nicknames, mm -hmm. but we're very happy now that we, um, now we refer to it as Chicago's own American Palace. And this is the art gallery. It is the art gallery. During uh, the Nickerson era, Samuel Nickerson was the first owner, and he was the person who commissioned the mansion. He was an art collector. Paintings lined the walls of this gallery space. In the center of the room, there were glass cases filled with oriental jade. And sort of our homage to Mr. Nickerson's art collection is the beautiful Cupid and Psyche statue from Mr. Driehaus's collection that we now have on display in the center. And what, I mean, obviously this, anyone who's watching this video is gonna see how opulent and amazing this place is, but what is, um, what from a historical perspective too, why should people visit this house? It gives them a very good picture of what gilded life was like for people who had a tremendous amount of money in that era? Or? It does. It also showcases the craftsmanship of the folks who worked on the home. In this mm. home, it was primarily German Americans who had been trained in the German guild and apprentice system and then came over to the United States, some of them after the Great Fire because they knew there would be work rebuilding Chicago. What really makes the museum stand out is that it has not been the victim of architectural salvage. Some Gilded Age urban mansions have been victims of architectural salvage where you'll find fireplaces have been removed, sections of wall carving have been removed. This building was never a victim of architectural salvage. Mm -hmm. it, 90 to 95% of the interiors, the walls, the floors, and the ceilings that you see are what both the Nickerson family, who were the original owners, and the Fisher family, who were the second owners of the home, would have seen as they were living here. My wife was joking about this place being the America's Downton Abbey, but is that <laughs> much of an exaggeration? Uh, well, in contrast to Lord Grantham, both Mr. Nickerson and Mr. Fisher were wise managers of their fortunes, mm -hmm. so they were never in peril of losing their homes. They were also self-made men. Um, Mr. Nickerson first made his fortune in a liquor distillery, mm -hmm. and then he invested in railroads and then also founded banks in the city of Chicago. Mr. Fisher was the president of the Union Bag and Paper Company, and he had actually started at the company as a kind of a paper boy, an errand boy, hmm. and then rose to the, uh, the heights of the presidency. It's a little bit different, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, a little bit different, but still servants and <laughs> still servants' quarters. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.